there are uh, companies uh, uh, like in IT sector which are hiring people, if not uh, mm-hmm. if not hiring in bulk, but still they are hiring. So mm-hmm. there is always a good chance that you will get placed uh, easily in IT jobs. <laughs> Hi guys, we are back with a new video. Today we have Saurav with us. Saurav is an Accio job alumni. He did his B.Tech in Electrical Engineering and graduated in the year 2021. Right after that, he joined Accio job. Uh, during his tenure at Accio job, he got placed in Lowe's at a whopping package of 12 LPA. He has been working there for the last one and a half year now. Today we talked to him and tried to understand how his journey has been as a developer in Lowe's, how he keeps himself updated with latest tech trends, and what all advice does he have for someone who is coming from a non-tech background and wants to be a software developer. So do make sure that you watch this video till the end. But before moving forward, take a moment to subscribe our channel and press the bell icon so that you're always notified on all our upcoming videos now without wasting any more time let's jump into the session uh Saurav, thank you so much for taking our time to do this with us uh can you quickly introduce yourself for our viewers yeah thank you guys uh thank you ma'am uh, for uh, having a warm welcome and uh, uh my name is Saurav. i uh, i joined ak job in year uh, 2021 in december uh then i started the uh, coding post that i got placed into uh, lowe's uh, india mm-hmm. Uh, from Accio job and currently uh, I have one year experience in Lowe's and doing good here. <laughs> okay, so Saurav, uh, you have been as a developer uh, karte karte Lowe's mein, right? and you joined as a fresher only. Uh, so yeah. tell us what all experiences you've had so far, what all things you have learned. You can also share the best part of working in Lowe's so far. Okay, cool. Yeah. Like uh, coming from a non-tech background, uh, like I was, I did my uh, graduation in electrical in electrical engineering so during my btech uh, we had few courses where we learned about uh, java uh, c plus plus and c but we did just for uh, uh, getting good marks and uh, getting passed in those subjects so we were not uh, so much into like we have to go into cs or like in coding jobs or in it but uh, we just did it for passing marks so uh, as soon as i uh, landed into i got to know about Accio job uh, for first few months uh, like it was a bit uh, uh, scary that will I get a job or not but mm. uh, as then I got placed into Lowe's and when the journey started for a few months yeah it was again tough like a new life for me uh, mm. because uh, uh, like the culture uh, like the whatever the coding we learn uh, it was a bit different than the company's project so mm. the lifestyle got changed and uh, uh, first of all uh, we had a like a experience where we used to live a life where we we used to only learn and like we were not mm-hmm. exposed to the uh, uh, on ground reality like what is happening in this industries and uh, like how are you dealing with the customers and all but uh, mm-hmm. then i placed uh, into lows and started working there so for first mm-hmm. few, few months it was a uh, learning only and uh, lows is a very good company uh, when it comes to the uh, work culture so hmm. then I started learning. I got uh, uh, good um, learning from my seniors. And uh, hmm. after I think uh, three or four months, I started my first development there as a feature uh, in some project. And uh, okay. now it feels confident. At that time, I used to think uh, they will fire me at any time because <laughs> first job and uh, no coding experience like uh, that. Hmm. But uh, still, uh, then uh, I started managing things and now it's going good. Great, that's great to know, Saurav. So, I want to ask one thing, because you just mentioned that you joined as a fresher, right? And you were studying at that time, you were studying at the job, and 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 you were studying at the job. But uh, you know, you would have to obviously change yourself a lot from a college graduate to a proper full-time working professional. So tell yeah. us few habits you had to, you know, <laughs> brought in yourself. Just because you have a lot of changes in your life. Like a college graduate, you have to change yourself. And now, you have to change yourself. Any habits that has uh, come into you? Okay. So the thing is, uh, when uh, when we are in uh, college, uh, we don't think much about the impact of uh, what we are doing. Uh, hmm. But basically, when are you when you are in a corporate, and uh, I'm not uh, much experience, but in a one year of experience, what I have learned it, uh, the most things uh, like whatever you do, 
there is some hmm. impact to it and if the impact is not good you will not be in a good position so hmm. I, i will try to give one example here uh, so for example uh, any sort of thing you do like uh, any project you make any any uh, like wherever you are using your time in your college doesn't matter hmm. much uh, it hmm. it might help you in good marks and all but uh, doesn't matter much but when you do here uh, like any uh, sort of coding or any sort of a uh, changing even changing a one line especially mm. in uh, in product based companies especially uh, it impacts the customer yes so there you can get escalated uh, escalated because the mm. thing is uh, even changing one line might impact a lot more or, uh, customers like if mm. in case of the order so it might uh, uh, impact a lot more customer so that's mm. uh, you have to take care of it you can't do mm. anything like uh, randomly and just go uh, everything has to go with the process so before making anything like you you can go fast but you have to be bit care, uh, careful yeah okay? and uh, if you will see in our like previously whatever we used to do we don't used to think much like what will yes. be the impact and all so that mm. change i have seen you have to be bit serious basically yes. so i think when you were studying as a student so matlab kafi sari cheeze hum nahi soch rahe hote maybe we are just doing it for the sake of getting the assignments done but ab aap mein kafi big picture thinking aa gayi hai ki ha this is the product that i'm actually uh, you know building and it is going to affect real customers so us tarike ki thinking i think you have developed as a working professional that is a great thing sorrow so anything that you miss about being a student like obviously student life ke bhi apne hi fun the so anything hmm. that you miss being a student yeah so uh, whenever you want to take so for example in uh, colleges also we have that attendance rule that uh, hmm. uh, you have to maintain a certain uh, percentage of attendance for each hmm. subject hmm. here you can also maintain uh, like here also we have given some uh, holidays hmm. but uh, uh, but those always looks like very less and there <laughs> the percentage of attendance but those always we used to take it like whenever we want we will we'll bunk some classes and all so we don't have that much fair like uh, but in corporate life uh, i think there is a fair like uh, you can't take much holidays and uh, you have to be uh, like a working professional so ha- you have to go there because you are a kind of a resource to the company and uh, you have to give your uh, like you have to work there hmm. so that is the part ठीक है तो सारो हां सो अब तुम्हें एक साल तो हो गया है इस कंपनी में काम करते हुए राइट एंड लाइक यू मेंशन द कल्चर इज रियली नाइस एंड दे आर पेइंग यू आल्सो वेल सो हाउ डू यू नाउ कीप योरसेल्फ यू नो अपडेटेड विद द लेटेस्ट टेक ट्रेंड्स बिकॉज़ ऑब्वियसली एज अ डेवलपर एवरी ईयर और एवरी फ्यू मंथ्स न्यू टेक्नोलॉजीज कीप कमिंग इन एंड यू नो इफ यू वांट टू कीप ग्रोइंग यू विल ऑब्वियसली हैव टू बी एट पार विद अदर पीपल राइट सो आप अभी अपने आप को कैसे अपडेटेड रखते हो और क्या-क्या चीजें आजकल सीख रहे हो okay cool so uh, basically when i started in the uh, so here in uh, lows there is a very good chance of uh, learning uh, the new tech because they have provided a separate uh, kind of a tech university uh, like where they are providing the online courses so uh, oh, nice. when i start yeah so when i started i started with the java 8 uh, so they have also provided some course on it like where will, some will be uh, some teachers will be teaching and uh, hmm. post that uh, now we are implementing the same logics in uh, java 17 Hmm. so that part we are learning apart from this uh, we learned uh, db's technology uh, like the db's we learned uh, for example in uh, ak job when i started we started with the sql now here hmm. i uh, went with the mongo db uh, postgres so new new technologies we are implementing so that our product become best because with the new technologies hmm. there will be some uh, good uh, chances that we will be uh, like increasing our customers uh, um, uh, uh, impact hmm. That's hmm. how it works. Okay, that's great. Uh, so, uh, in the tenure of you know one year of working in Lowe's, sort of any memorable hmm. incident that you would like to share, जहाँ पे आपको लगा हो आपने बहुत बड़ा major fuck up कर दिया but लेकिन you know things were in under control or maybe something some really great memory जहाँ पे you did really great work and your manager actually appreciated you a lot. Okay, so one i remember um, so what happened uh, there was a uh, something uh, some code has to go into production and the story was given to me so here mm. the there is a jira a jira works like a zira they will be uh, giving one story and we have to work on it so mm. i uh, i did that coding and uh, post that before that there was uh, some production issue happened and to fix that mm. production issue i have to push that code mm. so so i push that code and there were uh, there were around uh, 250 orders stuck so you can say that 250 customers were there so 250 orders were stuck 
due to that production mm. issue i deployed the code in production and post that i uh, uh, rerun those uh, orders for them 250 customers mm. so mm. i uh, on the next day when i woke up i thought in my mind like uh, uh, did i did something wrong like i was thinking like what 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 is going to happen after this change and all so mm. i got you know, like uh, all the details might get mismatched because i am rerunning it so the mm. details which are already there might get mismatched the new details might be populated mm. so then i called my senior like <laughs> is it mm. possible that a customer having two details so for example mm. uh, you if if you are a customer of amazon you could have a two mm. mobile numbers in um, mm. um, you could have a two ids that is possible yeah. but i was not aware at our uh, organization level that that is possible or not so i was in confusion so for the half uh, for half an hour i was like uh, now this is the good time to get fired <laughs> we have uh, uh, like mismatched 250 orders so it hmm. might get uh, escalated now but uh, after calling my senior and uh, like a lead and all they told it's possible and it's, it's nothing wrong so that is hmm. the that was the one moment मैकेनिकल इलेक्ट्रिकल so in these field there will be a uh, there is some scarcity of jobs because large number of people get uh, uh, get graduated every year so hmm. there are less jobs in government sector and the private sector also and you will not be get uh, 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 paid as much as you work there so hmm. for example when if you are in it sector and if you work hard for 10 years and if you are in uh, non it sector if you work hard in uh, for 10 years you will not be getting the same amount there will be big hmm. difference in hmm. it and in non it so first hmm. that was kind of a motivation for me that if i have to work let's work for it sector so that after 10 years i can see the good results yes that exponential first, growth will be there at least correct 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 so hmm. that is the first thing second thing is uh, uh, still there are a lot more company so uh, like uh, 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 now we see like there is a recession and all happening but still hmm. i can see like uh, there are uh, companies uh, uh, like in it sector which are hiring people if not hmm. uh, if not hiring in bulk but still they are hiring so hmm. there is always a good chance that uh, you will get placed uh, easily in it jobs so hmm. there can be a chance that you will be getting not uh, as much as paid you were getting during the corona time or during 2021 then when there was a boom in it but hmm. still you will get some job and you will uh, you can Uh, earn uh, like you can go with your livelihood with that uh, um, mm. so okay. that is the okay so sort of uh, like we just talked about these are like the technical skills anyone like even if he is coming from a non tech background they can join a boot camp or like, you know start studying online for free so that is about uh, developing the technical skills but now you working in the corporate for the last one year now uh, there are a lot of soft skills that you apply in your jo- job right like uh, when you have to talk to your manager how good uh, of a communicator you are and how do you actually deal with office politics if there is any <laughs> right so uh, us field mein if you want to give any advice for uh, you know a- advice to people who are just starting their corporate life or technical skills to chalo unko acche se aati hain unhe sari languages bhi aati hain but how do uh, someone make sure that wo jo office ka environment hota hai kaise us cheez ko tackle kar sake uske liye koi advice dena chahte ho to de uh so one good thing with me is that uh, i got good friends in my uh, office also so 
if you have good friends in office you don't have to think much uh, about the office politics and all your time will mm-hmm. go with them and uh, so, so there is thing like uh, i believe in working uh, like not going much into office politics because uh, Uh, it's the starting of the career so you have uh, you can't be in one company for a longer period of time if you ha- you have to uh, uh, earn really good so after some time you have to change your company so better mm-hmm. go with the skills uh, don't look much into office politics and uh, people do it for appreciation and recognition uh, mm-hmm. if you are working good uh, you will get noticed it's not a if the company is good they will notice you and uh, they will also pay you uh, in good amount but mm-hmm. uh, Uh, stay away from office politics i would say uh, don't mm. get too much that because we are just uh, like we are just freshers so our main motive should be to uh, work and to learn as much as yes. possible yeah uh, we can think you about so i mean your work will speak for yourself if you are working really good in the company correct correct that is the point Yeah. Okay, great. So, sort of, let's do a small rapid fire round with you. Okay, just let me know whatever comes to your mind first. Okay, so let's uh, start with the first question. Uh, okay, so you are a fresher, right? And when you joined Lowe's, you joined at a really good package. And uh, again, you are a fresher at that time. So, one, what was that one thing, uh, most expensive thing that you spent your money on? <laughs> okay, mm, what is the most? Uh, I think shoes I bought. Okay. Uh, so, uh, yeah, I don't used to wear uh, uh, like expensive sh- shoes. So hmm. I bought for me an expensive shoes. Oh, nice. Okay, cool. So next question would be: uh, You're still upskilling yourself, right? Uh, and you're working at a good job now. So what is that one uh, tech trend that you're most excited about? Uh, I'm excited about AI ML. I want to learn that. If I get a chance, uh, I will try to. So because uh, uh, in our company also, and in many companies, you can uh, switch in uh, inside also. Like if you have uh, some uh, interest. So mm-hmm. I, I I have an interest in AI ML. That is a uh, something I want to learn. Great. Explore. Cool. Uh, so next question would be, uh, which is your favorite book that uh, you know that is like your go-to book for any kind of motivation, or it could be related to coding as well if you want. So I'm very bad at books. So what happened? I went to Delhi and I bought a lot of collection. Like I was free at that time. I, I just graduated and thought I will learn. I will go with the self-help books. I will go with the investing books and all. I mm. bought a collection of around thirty, uh, forty books. I never mm. read anyone more <laughs> fully. <laughs> okay. So yeah, uh, I'm not good with the books actually. <laughs> Cool, no worries. So, uh, like, if you don't read books, do you listen to any kind of podcast? Hmm. Yes, I used to. Uh, uh, yeah, like for some kind of so. Sometimes what happens uh, when you are uh, not in a good uh, uh, phase of your life? I used to mm-hmm. hear uh, Osho. Sometimes I used okay. to hear Sadhguru. Uh, sometimes okay. I used to hear Bear Biceps. Also, some of the okay. episode of the Bear okay. Biceps. Yeah. Got it. Okay. So fun. One final question for this rapid round would be: Who is your favorite founder or co-founder that you look up to the most? Okay, that is. Or maybe very... it's any tech leader as well, like you are a fan of. Yeah, I am fan of Kunal Shah. Who? Who? Looks... Kunal Shah. Kunal Shah. Kunal Shah. Okay, nice. Great. Who looks... cool. so that was? <laughs> Okay, cool. Yeah. So that was it about our rapid fire round. Sort of uh, one last thing that I would like to ask you, since you are an alumni of Accu Job and you do, you have been doing really well uh, in the past one year now. So what is that one thing that you want Accu Job to do more for their alumni? Uh, we could have a meet <laughs> with our uh, juniors <laughs> in Okay. Like, so you would want that we should conduct offline meets. For you guys to meet and uh, you know collaborate and just discuss opportunities together. Right? Yeah, we can share experiences uh, like the colleagues also, which were with me uh, during the uh, our preparation. Okay, great. That was it for my end. Sort of. These are the questions I had in mind. Thank you so much again for taking out time to do this with us. I hope people listening to you find it extremely insightful and apply it in their lives so that they can also become uh, coders as soon as possible. Uh, thank you so much. all the best for them the for the viewers
yeah and thank you thank you that is it for today's video guys i hope you all found it extremely insightful if you have any questions for saurav you can just reach out to him on linkedin we will be putting the link of his linkedin profile below uh, so do make sure that you check it out and if you guys are also wanting to learn coding just go to our website and take the aptitude test the test will definitely help you in identifying which course is best for you be it monstack java full stack or data analytics all the courses have amazing instructors and mentors to help you out throughout your journey so do make sure that you check out the link provided in the description below and if you guys are new to the channel then don't forget to subscribe the channel and press the bell icon so that you're always notified on all our upcoming videos thank you so much and we will see you in the next one